Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday to us all. I am Lutra FM, as always, and we are on episode 71 of the Rafe Rovers journey. Um, just wanted to say quickly before we start with this episode, thank you to the people who viewed my first two YouTube shorts. Um, I decided to do a post a wrestling quiz uh, short video on YouTube every day and it's been well received and also the second uh, TW 2020 video is doing well so far for views so thank you to the people who've watched that if you watch my FM content and my TW content then you are much appreciated because I appreciate the cross promotion uh, going on there but yeah but anyway let's get back to FM and um, basically where you left us off last we um, we are out of Europe again. Uh, I knew the right was on the wall as soon as I knew that we had to play Barcelona next round. We lost 3-1 and 2-1. At least we scored a couple of goals though. Um, but yeah, not, not doing well so far. And um, we've got a few Premiership games to kick off this episode with. And then a League Cup second round, which I'll probably be playing my youth players in. So that'll be a good uh, way for us to test out the youth players and see if they're any good. And then we've got Livingston, and then I think next episode we'll start with Celtic, and then we've got Dundee, Hearts and Heart and Polkirk after that. But yeah, so the European part of this season is already over, um, unfortunately. Um, we do have a new record breaker here, David McMurtry, Muc Muc um, appearance at the age of 16 years and 93 days for Rafe Rovers at home to Barcelona, New Europa Conference League is a new team record. Rafe Rovers' previous young player was Andrew Stewart, who appeared at the age of 16 years, 112 days. So there you go. Uh, he's not too bad by the looks of it. Um, yeah. So let's just see how we get on. Um, we've had an appeal in for this goalkeeper here. Lennon Miller rejected the move to Hull City. Uh, let's have a quick look. Let's have a recap of the transfers that we've done. So, is there only one... Yeah, so David... So we signed Carlos Vivas on loan. David David Valencia, who looks like a pretty good player in the making. You know what I'm like. I like South Americans. And we signed this guy here, who I noticed scoring a couple of goals for his team when I was playing in the Europa Conference League. Um, luckily, he ended up becoming a really good... Potentially could be a really good signing. And uh, and then I signed, before we left, I signed this player here who was playing for Hibs at one point. Yeah, Ross County. And then uh, my mouse is playing up for some reason. Oh, there we go. Uh, I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't know why. Right. Um, yeah, Ross County as well. Went to Napoli from Ross County, which was a bit of a random transfer. Then went on loan to Hibs. Did well. Went back to Ross County, his former club on loan, did well there. And then we've signed him for 2.3. So I think that's a good signing, to be honest. I think he'll do well for us. And yeah, I think that's it on transfers in. And then I think transfers out. We've got a lot, I've got rid of a lot of the rubbish that was here for a while. Um, the only one I was a bit gutted about probably was Gonzalo Lujan, because I think he's actually a good player, but he just was unhappy. So um, we did lose money on him. But that's just how it is sometimes. But yeah, we've got to be on the lookout now for a, a good centre defender. Central defender, sorry. So I'm going to look at my shortlist first. Uh, there we go. Highly recommend Nicolas Diaz. Oh, God, he was the one I had on loan. He wants too much money. Right, I'm going to insist on Sheffield United paying for some of their... Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Right, that was that's that worked out better than I thought it would, and then probably Ryan Portis as well because he's got oh no he's he's too expensive. I'm not signing him. Uh, let's give these another scout report. Let's see what comes back from that. So yeah, Motherwell next. anybody who wants to know about Baxter the dog he is happily happily chilling on my lap at the moment fast asleep this dog does nothing but sleep but 
he does like his walks as well. I've start he's starting to get more excited about going for walks. So I took him for a long I took him for a long walk yesterday. Sorry, I got the hiccup there. And uh he made a new friend. He was uh playing with this six year old female um I think I can't remember what type of breed the dog it is, but she was very gentle with him and very patient with him because he wanted to sniff her and play with her and he, she just took him in his stride so he, he had a nice experience with the dog which is good because dogs can be 50 50 around other dogs so it was quite good oh uh, yeah so he's starting to do better he's doing this annoying thing about like nipping at the faces so more so my girlfriend than me um but yeah but we're trying to teach him not to do that but it's easier said than done he is very clever though he has picked up we taught him very quickly to go to sleep on his bed and very we taught him very quickly to do other things as well like the puppy pads that we've got he's now using them more to do his business in which is good so he is getting better but he is still very young he's only about 12 weeks old bless him right let's get on with this then so first episode of First game of the episode, sorry. We've got Tickling Goal, Ashby is right back, Francis in centre defence with Vivas, who's making his debut, Bruce is left back, Petrovic and Rios in midfield, Moraes on the right, Bar in the middle, Ruiz on the left, and Hoyland up front. So some familiar faces and some new faces, which is what we want really. We don't want a complete overhaul. We just want to move people on if they're not good enough and just gradually change it over time. All right, first highlight goes to Motherwell. Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe it'll go to us now. Moraes across the bar. No, sorry, Ruiz. Ruiz in the middle to bar. Uh, Moraes. I can't get my players all mixed up here. Uh, Francis back to the goalie. That's it. Can we keep it? That's it. Over here. Over here. There you go. Right, Ashby. Go on. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Hoyland with his potentially seventh goal of the season, but we'll see what VAR says first. And the only highlight so far of the season was um, Hoyland is banging him in. Hoyland now has seven goals for the season after like four games played. He only had seven goals for the whole of last season and four goals the season before. So he's hopefully turned the corner now and he, he can become a really good player for us. But we do have backups in Alba, Hugo Alba, and there is uh, uh, somebody else now. Uh, Mulligetter can play there, I suppose. Annie, Annie, Wo, Annie, Annie Yamwu as well, who can play there. Uh, and Valencia as well. So, yeah. Oh, that was lucky. That's it. Well done, Tickle. I can't believe his name's Sam Tickle. I bet he gets people come up to him all the time to try and tickle him, the poor bloke. If I knew someone was called... Sam Tickle, all I'd want to do was tickle him. Tickle, 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 like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, he'd, he'd get annoyed with that very, very quickly. Right, Motherwell driving forward. Nicely intercepted by Barr. They still got it though. Ah, Isaac Price, the price is right there. Right, I'm going to try encouraging the players. Hopefully that'll work. Rios across to Ashby. Ashby was trying to get a one-two there with Moraes, but it didn't work out. Nicely headed there. Ruiz across to Moraes. Get in. Hoyland with his eighth goal of the season. He is just banging them in at the moment. Let's have a little look at him. Yeah. Eight goals for the season in four games now, which is ridiculous. Look at him. Absolute beast. And he ha luckily he hasn't got a minimum fee release clause in there. So we can name our price for him. We ain't going to sell him unless we have to. Uh, Four-year contract on him. Hopefully he can stay here for the, the whole of his career. Um, but I can't see that happening because you know what you know how players' loyalty is like. 
here. There we go. Petrovic has had to come off. He's not very, uh, he's knackered, I mean. Good save by Mr. Tickle. Oh, offside anyway. Ashby's been playing really well in this game. Look at that. Beautiful goal. Lovely little team goal. Bit of a weird angle though. On the camera angle. But yeah. Nonetheless, 3-1 up. The half time. We'll take that all day long. Joiner, who only just come on with the assist. Let's have a look at him. Oh, he is pretty good actually, to be honest. 18-year-old. Uh, signed from Motherwell for 3 million. Bargain. I completely forgot I signed him. But then again, I do that with a lot of players. I sign them and then completely forget about them if they're not in the first team. The days of players like Deli Ali and Pogba are over, I think. Unless I just find Messi or Ronaldo, which ain't going to happen because they're probably retired on the game now. Right, Bruce to Ruiz. Joiner. Oh, Joiner nearly with another assist there. See if Hoyland can get another hat trick. Got a hat trick in the one of the first games of the season. So, granted, we were only playing a rubbish European side. I can't remember where they were from now. Uh, Balakani. I think they were Albanian. But we were way better than them. Oh, how have they got him? He's pretty good. He is, isn't he? Oh, from bloody seven point five million. They they spent a bit of money on him. Fair play. Then again, Celtic spent seventeen million on him. Bloody hell. Let me add him to the shortlist. You never know. We might be able to buy him at some point. Right, let's demand a little bit more. Let's kill this game off. Oh, God. Motherwell's got a free kick. Bruce, you're knackered. You can come off. Uh, who have we got? A Yarno. I'll have to come on. Probably do with uh, getting a... Oh, yeah. I definitely need another left back because I got rid of Longello. All right. Moraes. Come off. We'll put Valencia on. Make his debut. Oh no. We balls this up, haven't we? Oh, I still think, weirdly, I still think we're going to win this. Oh, maybe not. Oh well, at least it's been entertaining for you lot. For all the wrong reasons. Motherwell with the free kick. I don't know what happened there, but I think we saved it, luckily. Um, watched a film with my girlfriend yesterday. We watched uh, a comedy film with Robert Downey Jr. And I cannot pronounce his name, but the bearded bloke out of the hangover called Due Date. I have seen it before. I've seen it once or twice before, but... My girlfriend's never seen it, and uh, we both found it hilarious. Such a funny film. If you haven't seen it, do give it a watch. It is really funny. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky by us. We are keeping in this game by the skin of our teeth, aren't we? Let's try and demand a bit more, see if that'll work. I think we might score from this highlight, though. Yeah, as I predicted. Hoyland with his hat trick as well. Get in. We'll score when we want. We'll score when we want. We're Rave Rovers. We'll score when we want. Right. Hopefully this is our highlight, but maybe I celebrated too early. They've still got time to get an equaliser. Hopefully. Oh, no. Oh, that was lucky. Thank God he's rubbish at, str uh, at finishing. They're not good. I can't take them off though. Get in. 4-3. Great way to start the Premier uh, Scottish Premiership season. Right, let me see if I need to... Ro re Have I got a rest players already after one league game? No. Um, right, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. 
Right, we're back for the next part of the episode. Uh, let's just work our way through these. Loan off of her Salia. We don't want to loan him. Uh, right, let's see if we can have another attempt at trying to sell him. Okay, so we go transfer. So that's probably the... We don't want to trans loan or transfer. We want to transfer, but yeah, so we'll do that one. Uh, well, we've had a loan offer for Francis. Do, have we got him for sale? Oh, of course we've got him for sale, haven't we? Completely forgot about that. Right, we've got another goalkeeper in. He is a future transfer though, so he won't be here till January, I think. But we'll do for backup. We don't need any goalkeepers now. We've got quite a few. Definitely need a new another left back though. Let's see, is he a left back? AJ Alice, he is a left back. Uh, we had Hoyland in the team of the week, rightly so. He's absolutely destroying the Scottish Premiership and that this season. Well, Europe as well. While we were briefly in it. Uh, he might be a decent. Back up, I think. No. Um, Ruben Van Dommel. That's a Van Dommel was the name from the blaster in the past. No, I won't add him. Um, Regan Paul. Nah, thirty years old, thirty one. They won't sell him. Andre Anderson, God, I remember him. Jack Rudoni. Nope. Seems like a really easy signing that one to make. 1.4 for a player with that much potential. Oh, it had him to the shortlist because I don't want to sign because we've got enough striker options as it is. Uh, actually, no, I will sign him. 5.5 million, there you go, bargain. I could do with a better right winger because the race is not very good. There you go, Valencia can start playing there, I think. Right, we've got a new signing in. Giovanni Giovanni, sorry, Giovanni Bernardina. Absolutely rubbish. Why the hell did we sign him? He's going straight out the door. Paul Beeston. Good signing. Centre defender. Can also play right back. Come from Celtic, so he's got good uh good pedigree there. Clarkson's out the door on loan. Bruce is not happy because we changed his squad status, but we changed it back. Right, there you go, out the door. I don't know why we signed him. Right, I feel like we're more than covered in a lot of positions now, unless I'm completely wrong. Uh, we are not. Sending you out on loan for the season, especially when you're not contributing anything. Are you mad, West Brom? Right. We're playing Ray, uh, Ross County in the next game. We've got Rojas in goal for some reason, so I think Tickle's injured. Uh, Ayano's back in right back position, and then we've got Vivas and Rocky in the centre defence. Uh, Francis is left back because we are not very well equipped in the left back positions at the moment, even though he is very good in that role. Um, but he is going out the door anyway. And then we've got uh, Johnson, yeah, Latsburg Johnson with Rios in the middle of midfield. 
Varese is on the right, so we're not going to play Valencia there. Uh, I'm going to put Mela there. Give Mela a game there. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward there. There we go. Let's see how we get on. Right. They've got a corner, I think, straight away. Luckily, it went wide. Uh, just wanted to say thank you to everyone who continues to watch this Wraith Rovers series. Um, there's not many of you, but the, the ones that are watching it, that are enjoying it, I really appreciate it. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying playing it. Oyanu. Oh, penalty to us by the looks of it. Is that team team that's not team over surely penalty to us Ruiz lines up the penalty will he score he does he was lucky there the goalkeeper went the right way right let me just see it's not team over oh my god They've got Timo. Oh, he's 32 years old. But surely, even Timo. Well, then again, look, he's not very. He's not doing very well. Uh, I'm going to give him. I'm oh, giving him a scout. I'm going to add him to the shortlist. I'm missing out on these marquee sign. As much as I want to take, like, move away from them, I should also be like, I miss Muller, uh, signing Muller, and I miss signing Timo Werner. There we go. One 0 Hoyland. Ten goals already this season. Absolute destroying it. There's nothing to say that he can't get at least 25, 30 goals for the season if he carries on. As long as he doesn't dip his form or morale goes down for him. And uh, as long as he doesn't get injured for too long, he should be alright. Now I've said that, I'll probably jinx him. He'll probably get injured in this game. But yeah, he's doing well. Right, let's see what we can do here. Muller gets us in, in the team. Has he come on for somebody? Have we already had to take somebody off? No, I, I didn't realise he was in the team. I just assumed it was Barr. Well, oh, that's alright. I thought one of our players handballed it in. I thought it was a penalty to them. There you go. Could be a player sent off here. It is. Alfie Doughty. Right, we'll kill this game off now, I reckon. Now they're down to 10 men. We should be able to just destroy him. There we go. Oh, unlucky Mulligenta. Mulligenta. Right, corner. Johnson with the corner. See how we get on from this corner. So hopefully, second time lucky. Get in. Hoyland again. He's just destroying it at the moment. Absolutely destroying it. Oh, you know, oh loses the ball. Anyway, we're 3 0 up. Even if they get another goal, I don't think they're going to get back in this game. Especially with 10 men. Ruiz. Oh, look at that. Beautiful pass in. Ruiz there. Potentially with his third goal season. We'll see what VAR says. Goal awarded. Get in. I love VAR, mate. Two for Ruiz, for, two for Hoyland. Will Hoyland get another hat trick? He loves scoring hat tricks, he does, doesn't he? Oh, we hit the post. Good clearance there.
All right, let's see what we can do here. Moligeta to Ruiz to Hoyland, loses the ball though. Back with Vivas to Rios, drives it forward, sends it across to Ruiz. Ruiz back to Rios. Rios gets tackled, probably, I think it's outside the box, so I don't think it's a penalty. Nah, nah. Free kick to us, though, Moligeta. Headed, ah. Uh, Right, got the ball again. Ayanu across to Mella. Mella uses the space to bomb it down the wing. Lovely little cross. Shame where it straight to the goalkeeper's under. Right, we're in possession of it again. Johnson. Mella uses his skills to get past the player. Low pass. Doesn't work out. Oh, they've got a consolation goal. Potentially could get ruled up uh, offside though. See what VIR says. No, goal's awarded. That's fine. We're winning 4 1 and not bothered. If they score three more, then I will be bothered and I'll be really annoyed. For some reason they're fired up now. I don't know why. Oh, we've got it back though. Francis gives it to Rios. Lose, Ruiz loses it though. That's all right. Sam uh, Rojas with the same. Oh, they've got a player called Temple. It's quite interesting. Oh, here we go. All right, I've had enough of this. Let's demand a bit more. Oh, they weren't happy about that, which is understandable considering winning 4-1. I'm just trying to let you know that I don't want you to concede another goal. Thank you. Ruiz. Ah, oh, I thought he was going to score then. I thought he was going to go on and bomb it down the wing and score. Naraki. Oyanu. Oh, Oyanu oh, with nearly a great goal. I didn't feel like I needed to make any substitutions, but I will now because Ruiz is a bit tired. Put Valencia on for the next last few minutes. Uh, Rios as well can come off. We'll put Sandy Joyner on. Just, oh, we'll just praise Hoyland. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just take what we can for him. Right, I just want to have a look and see where I am on these. Am I a legend yet? No. Am I an icon though? Lewis Vaughan's an icon, so that's good. No. Am I just I'm just a favoured person now? Jesus Christ, I won you a bloody cup and got you promoted. Ugh, disgraceful. Right, so we signed Diaz, who was very good for us. Um, I don't think he's coming in just yet, though, by the looks of it. Is he? Is he here? Oh, he's here. What am I about? Right, so we signed uh, Diaz, and luckily Sheffield United are paying for half his wages, so it makes it more accommodating to us. <laughs> oh, by the way. Right, Francis is out the door, so I still need another centre-back and a left-back. Right, so let's have a look at the shortlist now. Are there any of the scout reports? Right, all the scout reports are done. So we've got a few B minuses here. We've got Melker Johnson, who's been capped for Sweden. He can play as centre back and also defensive midfield. Um, Emmanuel, yeah, he's 30. 
Precious, Precious Ogwu. I need to sign him. I'm going to sign him instead of Johnson, I think. And then we just need a left back now. Uh, Jason Irwin, we can't sign. We've already, oh, we've already gone for him. I forgot we're already signing somebody. Maybe Johnny Mercer, just to be on the safe side. Plus he's a highly rated young player. So I'm just going to clear this. Uh, I'm just going to search unattached. I'm just going to see if there's any like potential. Ah, there we go. Should we sign Lewis Vaughan back? He's only 32. We'll just sign him back for the nostalgia. He'll never play, but he's happy to play emergency backup. So we'll just have him there for morale reasons. Um, but that was my shortlist. I was looking at the wrong thing anyway. Um, let's just clear that. Right. Um, player search. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So we'll clear this. Clear. Why don't you not? There we go. It's just taking a while. Right. So unattached. Uh, see if there's anybody. Ahmed Musa. I think he's a bit old. Not worth signing at 35 years old. I may sign an old player if they're like somebody just like well, very well known. Nah, no one so far. Omar Richards doesn't he play for? Former Reading player, went to Bay Munich. Actually, he'd probably be a good player to have. Regular starter, there you go. I don't think we'll get him, though, because Everton's after him as well. But you never know. Liam Miller. I wonder if that's the former Man United player, Liam Miller. No. Liverpool. It's completely different, Liam Miller. Liam Miller, I was thinking of, was in the, I think like 20 years ago when he was playing, so I, that's why I thought it was highly unlikely it was going to be him. But you just never know in football. Uh, Reese Dun Norrington Davis. Oh, another good left back. Oh my God, are you taking the mick? No, that was that. you mate. You deserve to retire off it. You greedy bugger. I'm so glad I I saw that because usually I don't pay attention to that, and I just go, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, by looks, I don't think we're. I don't think there's anybody here that's. Nah. Nah. Let's see if there's anyone that the scouts recommend that's not too greedy. So Christopher Zakerson, 33 though. So we we'll, we'll won't bother with him. Mohamed Al Ayouch. Yeah, former Leon player. Can play in defence and defensive midfield, so good signing. Louis Jackson, Scottish player, would probably be good for squad registration issues. Christian a Christian Mawissi, uh, another good. We could just stock up on a few freebies because if it comes down to it, if they don't work out, we'll just sell and make a little bit of money on them. Uh, Yidrim, striker, is he any good? Uh, might be worth having him as a backup. Actually, I remember doing a Ren save recently and he was pretty good on that one, so you never know. No, I won't bother with him. That'll be it, really, to be honest. Hassan Bonde. Winger and striker. Nah. Doesn't really... Nah. Alright. What I'm going to do is... Gonna holiday. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna leave for a second. I'm just gonna holiday.
and hopefully this will work quite quickly. We will see. Um, but yeah, while I'm waiting for this, thank you as always. I know I've already said it in this episode, but I do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the episode. If you're not, please let me know in the comment section if there's something you want me to focus more on. If it's tactical stuff, you've got no chance with me because I'm not I'm not very good at tactical awareness or anything like that. Um, so yeah, but if there's anything else you want me to try and look at, I don't know. Maybe you want me to change my transfer policy or play more of the young players that's coming through. Just let me know in the comment section. Right, two days to go. So what I'm going to do in this particular match is I'm going to play the young players. So I'll just be picking youth prospects. Um, not too bothered about playing in this competition. So if I get eliminated in the second round, so be it. I'm not that bothered. Actually, let me have a look at Club Vision. Let me see what they want me to do in that. Uh, top half finish. Reach the last stage. Just the Scottish Cup. Reach the last stage. Uh, I've already failed one club uh, objective, so it don't really matter if I fail another one, I think. 37 million received, there you go. Uh, Ruiz and Hoyland in the team of the week. There you go, Lewis Vaughan's back. Good old Lewis Vaughan. Driven. Great mentor for the young players. Talking to young players, that's annoying because a couple of them would have probably played the next game. Right, we've got Mercer in. He'll probably make his debut in the League Cup. Signed another South American. Good little prospect for the future. Eddie R. Uh, Astrodillo. There you go. So, David Valencia is happy now because we've signed a fellow Colombian. Uh, Omar Richards didn't come to us in the end, which is a shame. He would have been a really good signing, actually, in hindsight. Look at that. 3.1 to 6.4 million. Can't believe he wants so much money, the greedy bugger. Timo Hubers, 32. Nico uh, Jankovic. Add him to the shortlist. Add him to the shortlist as well. Didn't we have him at some point? I think we had him on loan, didn't we? Oh, no, no. Right, we're going after Lewis Miller. Josh Ball is still here. We need to get rid of him. His value has gone right down there. It was like, it's gone down to 375k now. I think we've just got to accept whatever we can for him. Uh, right, he's not happy because he's not playing in the right role, so we'll just get rid of him. Uh, I don't understand why they keep low, like, asking me to give him for free. Lewis Miller rejected us. That's fine. Right. Doesn't bother me one bit. See if the board will give us more money. The amount of money I've generated them. Then again, look at the finances. It's not looking good, is it? Something I was going to do, and I can't remember what it was. It was that was it. Let me see. Uh, I mean, look at that. I just want to see what the attendance was. If it tells me, would it tell me somewhere? Uh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, that's annoying. 
Oh, I'll just have a look at the next. I don't know, there's something on here, isn't it? I've got loads of these views here, you never know. Uh, no. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how it... I don't know where it tells you on here. Oh, it tells you down here. What am I doing? Such a wally. Right. Ross County. Only 7,000. We've got an 18,000 stadium now. Surely we should be packing that out. Jimmy Nichols Stadium. Seven, maybe we just haven't got the support yet. Maybe they just don't want to play, uh, come to the games yet. Right, we sign Mawisa. I think we were lacking in defensive central midfielders. So, a couple of these freebie signings can be uh, a cover for them as well. So, we haven't signed Yidrim. He's gone to Best uh, Besticas. Timo Werner's only two and a half stars, so I don't think we'll bother signing him. I think we probably did well not to sign him, to be honest. Right then. So... Uh, Rojas is still in goal uh, Ashby and Vivas and so we've got Ashby is right back Vivas and Diaz are centre defence Ayano is left back uh, Mar Richie Moran is in midfield with Joyner Moraes is on the right uh, right wing position Mulligat is in the middle Rue is on the left and Tezgel is up front oh hold on I'm going to rotate this is a rotate I need to pick youth prospects there we go so Merce is making his debut Higgins is playing Beeston's playing um, Valencia's playing, Stakov's playing, and Tesco's playing. So it's not picked many of the youth prospects, but it's just some of them are all on the bench as well, so they will come on. Um, but at least it rotates some of the players. Right, let's see how we get on here. Hopefully, even with the rotate team, we should beat them. It's a weird kit they're wearing, uh, Partick Thistle. Sorry to any Partick Thistle fans out there. Uh, it just it just seems like a weird combination. It reminds me of my mate when we were kids. He went to this other school and their school uniform was um, brown and yellow combination. Uh, I used to call him, uh, I used to call him uh, Bonoffi, Bonoffi Milkshake. <laughs> it was brown, brown, brown blazer, brown trousers, Yellow shirt with then a brown and yellow tie. Poor bloke. It's a very nice school as well. You'd think they would uh, not want to punish their kids like that. But anyway, right. Joiner. Was it Joiner? I think it's Joiner, not Joiner. Get in. Tezco, second goal of the season. Good little backup for Hoyland, he is. See if we can get another one. There we go. Joiner. Across to Beeston. A couple of day views here. Look at that. Stakeoff doing well on the wing. Oh my god, that was a beautiful bit of techers. Shame you're going, isn't it, Lowry? Right, 2 0. That's good. Going well so far. Scored two goals even though actually has been 0.67. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a good thing. Oh, Partick here. Oh, that was lucky. Right, 2-0 up. Coming up towards half time. Doing well. Higgins is playing well. Ashby's playing well. Richie Moran's playing well. Uh, Lowry, who's had to come on? So who did he come on for? 
Oh, Mulligetta was injured. So, right. Stakeholders playing well, and then obviously Tezgirl's playing well as well. So, a lot of pluses so far. Valencia's not playing well though, so I might want to, I might encourage him. Oh, good clearance there by Beeston. Oh, that was lucky. Right, still 2 0 up at half time. We might be 3 0 up at this rate here. Mercer, beautiful first time cross. Oh, lucky by Valencia. Ashby now gets another. Oh, penalty. There we go. Lowry going to get second goal of the game. It's going to be a right shame now. When we sit, we're going to look like a right bunch of villains now if he scores from here and we sell him. He's not happy though because he wants to play in a certain position. So even if he's really good, I don't like having unhappy players here. I'd rather just get players that fit the system. Right, so I'm going to take Valencia off. Uh, actually, I can't because I haven't got anybody that can play in that position. So we'll leave it for now. Could put Lowry there. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it a bit more time. Let's wait till the seventieth minute, and then we'll do some substitutions. Right. So we put. We'll swap Lowry with Valencia, and then we'll take Valencia off, and we'll put on uh, Chucky, and then who else can make the? Put Lipasic on the. Joiner and then uh, push him over here. Uh, there we go. Right, uh, who else can make their debut today? Charlie, Charlie Mannon. I don't think he's played yet. <gasps> Nico, come on for Vivas. Well, consolation goal, hopefully. Bannon's having to come off already because he's knackered. Put him down on Ryan then. Ashby will have to stay on. I don't think we can substitute him anyway. No. Oh, I hope to God they don't bloody get a draw out of this game now. Right, let's just close this game down now. Uh, let's do a bit of time wasting. There we go. We'll see in this game out. Got through to the next round. So that's what I'll do. I'll probably just heavily rotate players in that game. Uh, we've had a couple of rubbish offers with a bloody bowler. But at this point, we're just looking to get rid of him, I think. Right, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode because it's gone on a bit longer than I, th I was uh, thinking. So, sorry about that if you're annoyed. Uh, a bit longer episodes. Hopefully, for the, hopefully the people who like longer episodes, they'll enjoy this one. But yeah, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thanks as always. All the best. Bye.